<laughs> Oops. Start screen to start screen. Sorry about that. Hello there, everyone. This is Omni. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, 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 I did not mean to do it that way. Um, anyway, we are here to do a review on the Nendoroid doll Little Red Riding Hood Rose. Um, interesting thing, because uh, I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a while. But I don't think the Nendoroid box that I got for Saber was like this. I think that they changed it. Um, but the interesting thing about the Nendoroid doll, there's no numbers. The Nendoroid doll is a little bit... I didn't think about it until just, just now. Um, it breaks tradition. Uh, Good Smile, for those that don't know, um, for the most part, Good Smile, for the Nendoroid line and the Figma line... Um, and almost for the par form, I believe, had a little bit of numbering too. But they all have numbers. They all give you a sequence of series of numbers. But I don't know if it's because it's it's, it's an OC, original character, um, or, or the, because of the character it is. But there's no number here, which is quite interesting. Now, for those that don't know, uh, I've been collecting for a very long time. Um, and the Nendoroid doll, to me, seemed to be the response. To the Kapochi, to Kota Bukia's Kapochi, which is cute Pochi. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what Pochi, the word. I can't remember what it was for, um, what the Pochi's part of that stood for. Um, but it was. Um, that was. I felt like that was the response to um, Nendoroid. Um, uh, uh, was Kota Bukia's response to Nendoroid. And so. And so. Um, and so. Uh, they made theirs posable. That was something that, that differentiated Kapochi to with Nendoroid. Is that Nendoroid? Uh, they're not posable really. There's a super posable version um, of the of Nendoroid, and it is for usually fav saved for action characters like um, Overwatch and and the like. But it was they didn't have the same posability as say a Figma. It was more like um, the arms can go up and down. And they were they were like single jointed. They were not smooth, round jointed like the Figmas. Um, so what Kapochi did basically was like they took the formula behind uh, Figma, where it's like a nice smooth, round joint, and made them uh, made that for their Kapochi line. And then they also had magnetic feet as well. Um, also, this is really funny. Um, <laughs> just so you know, you can't you cannot return. Um, Anything in regards to color transfer. N uh, Good Smile was, uh, <laughs> is perfectly aware that that's probably a problem that they've found other uh, other times. Or even with other lines, other other people have that problem. So they already give you this off the bat. That they're like, hey, we're not going to return it. That's a normal thing. You just need to be more careful. Which, which is... I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny. It's just funny. Okay, so this is Little Red Riding Hood. Rose. Anyway, as I was saying though, um, so the Kapochi thing, and it was kind of interesting because it was like very different from from the Nendoroid, and you're like, oh cool, it's like a posable Nendoroid. Um, and the series, the both the series, the, there was never a killer of, of one series from the other, or or one series, one one group of people doing it the uh, one type because they they preferred it. it they they kind of co ended up coexisting, so it was interesting. But then then. <laughs> I don't know what it was in Good Smile. What, 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 what? This is what's inside, by the way. What turned on to Good Smile that they needed to make a posable Nendoroid? But they made a Nendoroid doll as a response to the fact that the Nendoroids aren't that posable. So the Nendoroid doll series was created. It started out with Saber. Saber was the first one. It wasn't Saber Saber, but it was actually it was a Saber Alter, I believe. Um, yeah, because I have the um, I have the I have the Nendoroid doll. Uh, I got that. I got the first one because I was like, all right, well, I want to be, you know, I want to, I want the first one for my collection, so to speak. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'll pick up a Nendoroid doll. And I haven't picked up Nendoroid dolls in a while, um, but there are uh, there are quite a bit of them, and they're not numbered, which is very interesting. Um, at least not from what I've seen, um, and especially not seeing this box. Um, now, the first Nendoroid doll, I'll let you know, it didn't actually have, um, completely, 100% completely, um, like, fabric clothes. Um, some of the parts were actually painted 
so that it would be clothes, so like the top and things like that. And um, this Android doll does not come with the clothes, um, and there's no painted parts. It's just um, it's just fabric. It's just clothes. It's like a, it's like an actual doll. Um, there are the magnets on the feet though, so. So that is what Nendoroid, uh, that's what Good Smile, um, um, borrowed from the Kapochi line, was the, uh, the, the doll part. Um, so we're just gonna put these cute little boots on her. Um, was that they, they borrowed the whole magnet thing. And then the shoes themselves, and this is something that also Kapochi does, which is really funny. Um, the, the shoes also have magnets, so if you want to... So don't worry if you put shoes on her feet because she'll still have she'll still have magnet power um, in regards to uh, her her uh, standing ability. Um, the reason why the magnets, by the way, is because it's easier to kind of pose them on a stand dynamically, which they still give you a stand. Um, by the way, it's not something that they don't they they, they don't include, but. Um, they, 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 um, put the magnets there so that you don't have to actually necessarily always use the stand. Because the base, which they also looks like they borrowed from Kapochi, is, has a metal plate on it. And then it does still have holes. That's the one thing Kapochi doesn't have, is that, the, is that there's still holes that you can put the stand on. The Kapochi one doesn't have, um, holes. And, for those that are wondering... Oh, I'm wrong. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. <laughs> I forgot. No, there is holes on... Why did I say that? Now I look like an idiot. I'm so sorry. Uh, for collectors, you obviously already knew that I didn't know what I was talking about. But there's the same... This is the Kupochi base. Metal plate and hole. For the stand. And for those wondering... Yes. Um, yes. I am going to do a comparison video of the Kupochi... Nendoroid, uh, sorry, the Kapochi Red Riding Hood, because they made a Red Riding Hood in the Kapochi format, and this new um, Red Riding Hood, uh, Red Riding Hood uh, Nendoroid doll, because it's very interesting to see, because they're very, they're years apart, but they decided, it's really interesting because they're years apart, but, but Nendoroid doll I guess I don't know who decides who gets a who gets a who gets a, a doll or not, but they I guess this was supposed to kind of go with the Alice in Wonderland one, um, which they also they they also made, but they made a a it was, basically it was a um, they made one for the wolf, and then one for um, one for Red Riding Hood, so and then they've also done a recolor for the wolf and the Red Riding Hood um, recently. And it has uh, like Halloweeny colors, uh, so it's purple and orange for the for the uh, Little Red Riding Hood, and I forget what. Um, oh my gosh, a little difficult to get the clothes on, um, and I forget what the color is for the wolf. So that's an interesting one. Um, huh. And I've not, like I said, I haven't picked up another Nendoroid doll since I got the first one, which was a long time ago. Um, so it's very interesting to me, clothes-wise, because these are all, these are all real, real fabric. Um, and it doesn't seem like that they, they, wow, this is very, a little bit difficult to get on. It doesn't look like they, um, they skipped out on, on anything where they, like I said, with the first one, they kind of painted certain things on, uh, like the the top was painted on, if I remember correctly, but her jacket was not. So that was something that was interesting. Um, interesting. Hmm. She's supposed to be wearing stockings, but like I'm putting it on and I'm like, there seems to be a little bit of a length issue. Oh, you know what? I'm. That's why. Of course. Duh. There's a length issue because, um, so, so, once you get it over her body, her stockings have a little bit of length in the, in the bottom, because it needs to be able to bend. So, in order to bend, 
you leave a little bit of space or a little bit of, of wiggle room as they would say so you don't want to leave her in the clothes as the the warning label said because here's the thing with fabric some of the fabric has has dyes they have particular dyes and it doesn't it doesn't come off um, on a skin for those that are like well i wear clothes how come i don't have stuff that comes off my skin sometimes they will actually depending on what the clothes is but um dyes will will rub off of um things like plastic or other fabric so they will um in a way in a sense they will they will um uh Oh, they, they will they will they will rub off um in regards to like in regards to like um uh uh dolls or anything anything uh anything that's not uh that's not a person i guess but um yes so she gets a whole set of clothes she doesn't have any accessories which is interesting with the with the nendoroid dolls i don't know if that's like a normal thing but this one doesn't come with accessories it just comes with the with the outfit uh and and then extra pairs of uh, of hands so hands that you can um you know you can use various poses with but no accessories i don't remember how much this was i also don't remember how much the red riding hood kapochi was now that i'm actually thinking about it but um the kapochi I'll show you in a comparison video. There was a lot that came with it. Um, so that's something that, that's interesting that this one doesn't have. This, I love the clothes. They actually do details on the clothes. I'll show you once I get it actually on. Um, like the buttons on the on the clothes. Like the, obviously the, the doll doesn't need the buttons. It's just, it's just for show. But the fact that they took the time to like put in these little, uh, these little plastic accents or, or embellishments for the doll is pretty cool because they, like i said they don't need to they definitely don't definitely don't need to do that um but it's good smile and they do not skimp on details typically for the most part there's even an embroidery on the back so that when you do stick it in it kind of it kind of if you do stick the 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 stand in there it does it does kind of sit there so that's cool this one unlike the 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 kapochi though has a separate uh later hosen robe thing um which is interesting so the definitely the, the different the outfits are very different um this is i guess more of like a like a like a Hans Christian Anderson, I don't know. It's like a, it's more like a um, Hansel and Gretel Little Red Riding Hood, a German Little Red Riding Hood maybe, um, something like that. Whereas the other one is more like, I don't know, but I guess French you would say. You'll see what I'm talking about when I do the comparison video. Um, I've, I might even do a review on the, because it's been a long time. I might do a review on the Little Red Riding Hood Capochi. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Little Red Riding Hood Capochi as well as uh, a comparison video. And so that way we'll have all of the all of the things going on. Now, very another a very interesting thing. I'm trying to remember if the Little Red Riding Hood Capochi, which I'll have to look up before the comparison video, if it had if it had face plates. I feel like it did, but I don't remember. This one, uh, Nendoroid doll, surprisingly, which I thought would be interesting because just Nendoroid doll, no face plates. Um, you could use this body and, and reuse it's because that's the thing about the Nendoroid doll is that it also uses the Nendoroid head. So you can use other face plates from other characters. You can swap it out um, in that regards and stuff. Um, oh my gosh, this is going to be like a very difficult. The hood is um, giving me a little bit of trouble. So <laughs> give me a second. And I know most of this review has not been with. She looks super cute. Um, so here's her out of the box and clothes. And I know that most of this <laughs> review has been me trying to put on the clothes. 
Um, but it's really cool. Uh, she has a hood too. Um, and the hood is big enough. It looks a little weird when it's down um, in certain angles because the hood's supposed to be big enough for her uh, super deformed chibi head to fit in it. So it does look a little bit like big, but it's so her whole head can fit in there. So there we go. Looks like she is perfect. Look at that. Look at that. She's just super cute. Um, she does have posable arms, and then the head also poses. Like, the articulation is pretty good. There's a there's a neck joint as well as a ball joint on the Nendoroid doll. Um, the arms go up and down. The shoulder, the leg, the feet. Um, and then, of course, the hands don't really pose, per se, but you do get... Um, a pair of a six a pair of three pairs of hands Oh, no, sorry you get four pairs of hands extra extra four pairs in total you get um, you get six and Then uh, I'll show you here individual individually Oop. One uh, you get two pointing hands you get two fists and then she has two neutral hands already uh, in her thing so you get the one pointing hand pointing hand and then two fists so there you go and then of course uh, just like any nendoroid she comes with a stand uh, or, or, or pieces for her stand there's like various different things uh, one of them has a massive ha uh, magnet so you can stick it to the back of her head. And then, of course, the extra neck joint. So I'd say it's pretty cool. I actually really like the Nendoroid dolls. Um, but the thing is, is that it's a very... They're, they're, they're interesting. They're an interesting subclass of Nendoroid. Um, and they're also they're also interesting because Good Smile now has like two different... Um, like three different doll things. Uh, there's the... There's the paw doll, and then there is, well, well I don't remember what the other one's called, um, but there's definitely Harmonia Bloom. There's a Harmonia Bloom doll thing. So it's very interesting that they um, didn't just put their efforts in that, but in, and, and instead they also, they, they, they made this Nendoroid doll line, which is really cool because, uh, like I said before, Nendoroids didn't have any posability except for when they were action figures. So it's kind of like cool now you can make characters that little red riding hood's not like an action thing um but if you care of to there is a nendoroid guns uh more uh, accessories pack so you can you can make it like a like a bb hood from uh doc Starkles, uh or marvel vs capcom 2 anyway folks thank you so much for watching this rather lengthy uh video on the nendoroid uh doll little red riding hood rose color <laughs> Um, but uh, we will have a comparison video and then there will be a Kapochi video up shortly um, um, this weekend. So thank you again. Uh, and always remember, you are worthy. You are loved. You can do wonderful things. Keep your star shining and we'll always be looking for you in the night sky. Going off.